In 1942, the United States joined the Allied camp and became an important rear industrial production base. However, the United States is relatively far from the front lines of the war, with the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans on both sides. Especially in the European region, there are a large number of elusive U-boats, which have caused great losses to merchant ships with their wolf pack tactics. In this situation, the United States began to pay attention to long-range transport aircraft that could cross the ocean. Although its transport capacity cannot be compared with merchant ships, air routes are safer and much faster, making them suitable for transporting important personnel or objects. After the Pearl Harbor incident, the United States officially joined World War II and began to mobilize the national industry to fully engage in weapon research and development and production. This includes the Lockheed Aircraft Company, whose L-049 Constellation Passenger Aircraft was requisitioned and converted into a military transport aircraft. A total of 22 aircraft were produced during World War II, seven of which were not delivered in time. And the aircraft received a new designation, C-69. As a large four-engine long-range transport aircraft, the C-69 served the U.S. Army and Air Force. It replaced the military paint scheme and gained recognition from the military due to its excellent performance. After World War II, some aircraft were converted into passenger planes for continued use. The performance of the C-69 transport aircraft is proportional to its appearance. The aircraft adopts a low-wing layout, and its slender and streamlined fuselage resembles that of a high-speed fighter aircraft. The tricycle landing gear can lift the aircraft high off the ground, giving it long legs. The tail of the aircraft is equipped with three vertical stabilizers. The aircraft is powered by four right R33-5035 18-cylinder air-cooled radial piston engines, each outputting 2200 horsepower, driving a set of three-blade constant-speed propellers. These engines enable this large aircraft to reach a maximum speed of 530 kilometers per hour, which is comparable to some fighter aircraft models in the early stages of World War II. The pilots have flight control equipment with hydraulic control, making it relatively easy to operate this large aircraft. A total of 12 flaps are installed on the trailing edge of the wings, which can change the wing area and airfoil section through sliding motion. If the hydraulic equipment fails, they can still be operated manually. The tail surfaces include three rudders and two elevators. Unlike other components, the rudder is not made of all-metal structure, but fabric-covered. The aircraft is made of aluminum alloy and has a semi-monocoque structure. The overall length of the aircraft is about 29 meters, with a maximum diameter of about 3.5 meters. The cockpit and the passenger cargo compartment of the aircraft are equipped with pressurization devices, which provide air through a centrifugal mechanical compressor. The C-69 mainly serves for personnel transport, with 60 seats installed in the cabin. There are two toilets available, and military aviation equipment such as radios and navigation landing aids are also installed on board. Originally designed as a global airline passenger aircraft, the aircraft also has some structural flaws. For example, part of its fuselage and wings are built as a whole, which is not convenient for mass production. Compared with other large aircraft produced during World War II, the quantity is indeed very small, and this structure is not conducive to maintenance and repair. Usually, military transport aircraft need to consider the loading and unloading requirements of large-sized goods, which requires the installation of large-sized cargo doors. However, the passenger aircraft structure of the C-69 cannot meet this requirement. Unlike ground vehicles, it is not possible to add a cargo door anywhere at will, as this would damage the overall structural integrity. Lockheed had high hopes for the C-69, and its payload and flight capabilities were definitely top-notch during World War II. They also attempted to develop a C-69A transport version with 100 seats, a C-69B long-range cargo transport version, etc., but these were not realized for various reasons. In the era of the aviation technology boom during World War II, the proud performance of the C-69 was not unique, and the U.S. military had a greater preference for the Douglas C-54, the Lockheed C-69. 
Constellation Transport Aircraft has an empty weight of about 22,680 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of about 32,600 kilograms. It has a length of about 29 meters, a height of about 6.8 meters, and a wingspan of about 37 meters. The maximum flying speed is 530 kilometers per hour. The cruising speed is 365 kilometers per hour. The maximum ceiling is about 7,600 meters, and the maximum range is about 3,900 kilometers.